Hey guys, today we're gonna compare which is better, NA10 or Make. We're gonna compare the pricing, usability, and also the performance. By the way, I already have previous made a video where I compare Zapier, Make, and NA10, but in this video we strictly gonna focus only on Make and NA10. And by the way, in my community, Monetize AI Agent Automations, you can learn everything about NA10. Also, you can learn how you can sell automations and make money. But let's dive in and see which is the best option for you. By the way, uh, let me tell you my background. I started automations with Zapier. I hated the Zapier because it was lagging. It has a lot of issues and my workflows usually was super long and with a lot of variations and the Canva design wasn't there. So it was really, really hard to make automations as I wanted. Then I discovered the Make. At that stage when I discovered Make, they was switching from their old name of uh, Integromat to Make. So I was in that between where they were switching. I tried for a few months, but actually I never really, really enjoyed. For me, Make was like Excel from 1998. And then I discovered NA10 and NA10 for me was like Mac OS system. So it was everything very intuitive. It was really easy to understand UX, super clear. And for me, it was like straight go when I start understand really easy where what to do where. And the coolest thing was that they have the JavaScript. NA10 has the JavaScript and it was so easy to start my old workflows. And yeah, so let's start with the pricing. Make has the cheapest starting point. You can start from $18 a month. Actually, actually right now it's even $10 a month. So you can start from $10 a month, but you pay for operations. So that's mean, for example, you have a workflow with the 10 nodes. That's mean that there in total are 10 operations if it goes through. And that's mean you can only run this workflow 1000 times. And that's gonna cost you like 10 cents a run or something like that. Instead of N8N, N8N uh, charges you per workflow execution. So let's say you have the same these 10 nodes and the workflow runs, you can uh, run this workflow for less than a cent a run. And to run one workflow with 10 uh, operations on make, it's gonna cost you like a cent. So yeah, that's the just the broad overview. So if we compare the prices, NA10 is the best. And for example, here I have make a, a comparison. Let's say we are using five nodes and we have 50,000 executions. It's like whatever, like email personalization or, or so forth. That's gonna cost you on a make, it's gonna cost you $600, but on NA10, it's gonna cost you 100 approximately. Also the prices can change if you from uh, right now watching it from Europe, your price are gonna be euros. And in the second model, let's say we have 50,000 executions and we have 10 nodes, the may gonna cost you almost $1,000 and only 154 still. A uh, cool thing about NA10 is that you can self-host, you cannot self-host. Just JavaScript editor NA10 has Python. Both platforms give you option to export and import workflows, so that is pretty nice. The biggest benefit that everybody loves is that NA10 uh, provides you a self-hosting option. You can quickly self-host it in my school community. If you go to the classroom number three, here's everything how to self-host, step-by-step guide. You just copy and paste it and start running it on your own machine. That doesn't care if you use Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. And overall, which I would choose, from my experience, I use N8N because of multiple uh, aspects. First thing is super cool support and community. N8N support outreach at themselves and said, hey, I noticed that you run issues on our uh, cloud. You cannot run your workflows. We suggest you do self-hosting. Maybe it will work better for you and it work. And that's how we are here. I have learned a lot from their community. By the way, employees of N8N is really cool. They outreach themselves, me on LinkedIn, on email from multiple various kind of departments and asking, hey, we noticed that you would make this video. Let's hop on a call, how we can fix this issue. They literally are really interested to see the product grows, the community grows, and they actually listens of community, what they think, what they does. And right now you can see by yourself that they have created these AI agents and they are moving really, really fast. I think I know that people who does social media marketing, they prefer make because they have native integrations with LinkedIn, with all these social media platforms, it's much easier to start there. But if you don't need to post on all social media platforms, then I highly suggest you NA10. Still from NA10, you can post directly to YouTube, 
to LinkedIn and I guess also on Facebook, but you need to do a few steps to get your own API keys. And also you can use other services that has all the integrations and you just use HTTP requests and it's possible, it's doable, but it depends on you which is the best tool for you. So if the price, the performance and the community is that you are looking for, I highly suggest you to use NA10. And if you're just starting out and you're not sure, still go with NA10, self-host on your machine. I highly want to suggest you to use Zapier. Every single client that I got, they move away from Zapier and they either move to Make or N8N. So, yep, and uh, by the way, once again, check out the Monetize AI Agents Automation School community. And if you want to try N14 days for free, check out the link down below in the description and sign up. See you there. Okay, see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe and like and leave some comment. What do you think about this video?